Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 8th, 2019. So my goodness, we have certainly had a lot of turmoil in the market, a lot of back and forth, a lot of volatility. Yesterday, uh, things started out pretty well. Um, early in the morning, we had futures looking very positive, and then we had some massive bond fluctuations that began to occur and the market just really fell all apart and by the time we opened we were looking at a big gap down and we slid even further into the day now the good news is although the diamond slipped below its 200 day moving average it recovered nicely coming back up and giving us that little bit of a positive lift here and a little bit of relief in the overnight selling or um, in the uh, morning selling morning session selling now what we need to do is we need to remember that one day does not make a trend and although I want to be very positive about this this bounce we have to also be careful to recognize the fact that although we've come back up significantly we're coming right back up into fairly substantial resistance levels in the chart let's also keep in mind here on the diamonds even though we have recovered we still haven't moved into the gap okay that we uh, created um, right here so we've got a lot of work yet to do and the tech there's so much technical damage in these charts and so much volatility to deal with it's hard to know what happens next now i kind of lean toward the idea that we'll see some bullish follow through at least that's my hope but as we push into this open uh into this gap you know anything is possible and to add to that we have our biggest day of earnings this season happening today with over 500 companies reporting so lots of lots of fluctuation lots of things uh, moving back and forth and it could be still a very very challenging day we've had futures um, this morning so far up as much as 75 80 points and all the way back down to uh, just barely one or two points in the positive and right now as i'm speaking they're trying to come back up we're about 40 points up in the dow futures so lots of fluctuation still happening this morning and we're going to have to watch this price action very closely as we uh, move on throughout the week here now let's take a look at these uh, levels um, although we have a fairly significant resistance level and by the way if I pull that back it's it's pretty substantial um, that we're testing right now in the Dow um, we could also reach some resistance right here in the chart if we happen to push up through into that gap let's keep in mind that that 50-day moving average is right up here and that our short-term moving averages are moving down to create kind of a zone of of resistance here that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully let's take a look at the spy spy also nice move back up but it stopped short of being able to break through this resistance in the chart that we're dealing with you can see right across here we have that significant level of resistance in the chart so we stopped just short of being able to break through that um, and actually break into uh, this gap down um, we'll see if um, we can get enough energy to push that up this morning and right now at this moment we're looking at a little bit of positive push up here in the spy uh, this morning let's take a look at our moving averages here and let's remember the fact that we've got a zone of resistance setting up here a technical zone of resistance um, with those moving averages moving down as well as price resistance right in here that we're going to have to contend with so although it's wonderful to see uh, or catch this relief we can't um, we can't relax and just go blindly long here because we have so much price resistance and technical damage that the market still needs to overcome and unfortunately we just have all this uncertainty out there still still swirling around 
in uh, bond rates and and of course the China trade situation. So lots of lots of uncertainty still out there swirling around. Nothing has really changed. Um, so we'll have to be really, really careful how we approach this market. Um, could be some wild fluctuations. We could see intraday reversals that are very, very strong. Let's remember the bears, the bears are not likely to give up easily. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q's made a really nice move back up yesterday, the strongest of the bunch, breaking through that down move here and actually moving up into the gap that was created uh, the other day in that big gap down. Let's take a look at the chart. We are pushing right up next to this price resistance level that carries all the way back through here all that price resistance that we're pushing up against. If we can continue to move on up to try and fill this gap, let's just keep in mind, we've got significant levels of resistance um, right near that 50 day moving average as well. So if we move up toward that 50, kind of fill that gap, notice that those shorter term averages are moving down. We're likely to set up this zone of resistance right in this area and it happens to correspond with some of these price resistance levels in the chart so just can't kind of keep that in mind as we move up a little bit of caution has to be taken um, and just understanding that those bears are probably not going to uh, just step away um, with the uncertainty that's still out there let's take a look at iwm now iwm had a nice recovery yesterday as well holding as you can see um, some support levels, some critical support levels. Otherwise we really fall off a cliff here in IWM. So it held there nicely and um, hanging in um, this morning as well, trying to push just a little tiny bit higher this morning. Now let's keep an eye on this and, and realize that if we push back up here, we still have a lot of uh, problems here in IWM. Um, first off, we are below uh, our 200 day moving average and below our 50 day moving average. So we have a pretty substantial zone of resistance right in this area in the chart that we're gonna have to work through, uh, not to mention the downtrend that we are still contending with here in IWM. So lots of work here for the small caps to do before we get very positive um, overall. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX getting that nice little pullback. We had a little fear spike in there yesterday, popping back up, but we didn't break out of the high. That was a good sign. And now pulling back um, as we start this little relief rally um, into resistance levels. Notice that that downtrend breach right here, the critical point is going to be is if we pull back in here and are unable to break all the way back down, if we hold a support level in here, a higher level of price support in this chart, um, and that fear starts creeping up again. That's where the real selling could really begin. So watch that pretty closely. Right now, no particular fear showing here in the market. We are starting to settle down, but uh, just know that we're pretty sensitive right now. Any news report, anything that spikes that fear again could really move this market quickly. Um, let's take a look at that T2122. T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio, we got a really nice bounce yesterday on T2122, moving us out of this bullish reversal zone, moving us back up um, into that relief area of the market. Now let's keep in mind, um, we can see spikes like this at times in uh, T2122, where we'll spike up big and then we return all the way back. Hopefully that doesn't occur. We wanna see this be more of that gradual, nice little comfortable relief rally moving us on up. We definitely have room for that, but we don't wanna ignore the fact that those bears are still out there milling around and they could regroup for another attack. So if we um, just, just note that we have plenty of room to move up and um, we've opened the door for um, another move back down um, if, if those bears come back around. So watch it close. We're kind of in that tentative area where there's a, just a lot of uncertainty here that we have to deal with. And we may climb that wall of worry, but um, 
I just don't think I just don't think those bears are going to give it up all that easily, especially since nothing has changed um, with the trade situation. Nothing. In fact, uh, I would say it's just by the day probably getting worse um, with the rhetoric back and forth between the countries. So. Um, Pretty challenging price action here to try and decipher um, as to how to attack the market. So be really careful and remember, you don't have to trade every, every day to be successful as a trader. You want to make sure and plan your trades carefully and trade when uh, only trade when you have an edge. So let's take a look at our economic calendar today. We do have a couple of things that could move us around. First off, we have our jobless claims out here at 8.30 this morning. Obviously, that's one of our uh, bigger reports. Um, I don't expect any major surprises in the jobless claims, but we will want to keep an eye on that. As this market fluctuates, if we start to see some of these metrics begin to break down, we could have some trouble um, in the market. But right now, I'm expecting that to hold up pretty well. Uh, we have the natural gas report that can move the market around, but it's very unlikely that it will. And then toward the end of the day, um, in the economic calendar, we have the Fed balance sheet. So something to watch for in the market. The real driver today is going to be the earnings reports. Um, over 500 companies reporting earnings today and they're coming in pretty quickly uh, this morning. A lot of bouncing around in the futures as a result, but those earnings reports are rolling in. And this, I believe, is going to be the biggest day of this season. Um, although we don't have a huge number of the big tech or big notable earnings today, a lot of companies reporting, and that can certainly move us around in the market. So keep that in mind. We get a little bit of relief tomorrow, um, dropping down to only 120-some companies reporting, which will uh, provide us a little bit of rest maybe uh, from this crazy week uh, that we've experienced here in the market. Let's, um, well, bef before I go any further, I, I want to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys, um, your comments and, and the, the kind words that you leave are so, uh, so humbling. I truly, truly appreciate that. Um, so if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and then also click that thumbs up or excuse me, that bell icon. Click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Now over 600 videos on YouTube, lots of free information for traders. Um, so please uh, feel free to take advantage of that. And also, please feel free to share this information with any friends and family. It's 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 out there for everyone. So, you know, if you find a video that you particularly like, you know, post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter. Um, I would really appreciate that, and that spreads the word. And thank you to those of you who do do that. Um, you guys are truly responsible for the growth of this channel. Also, take a moment, if you can, if you feel the video is worthy, and click that thumbs up button and, and, and leave a comment. Um, even the briefest of comments counts. Um, it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks, and um, that helps us continue to grow. So thank you guys who take the time to do that. So with that, let's talk about some charts that are setting up looking pretty good. And the first chart I want to bring your attention to is BLL. BLL um, is in a beautiful trend and it was alerting. Um, I, I run a, a software pot package that uh, um, we call um, um, Live Trading Alerts. And Live Trading Alerts um, actually um, is... A automatic scan of the market uh, looking for patterns and setups that we look for and the the live trading alert scanner just kept alerting all day long on BLL BLL just a beautiful chart looking really really good here um, nice strength holding its trend very very well so let's keep an eye on BLL looking really really good um, overall a chart you might want to pay attention pay attention to this morning is Roku. Now Roku looked like it was very very close to a failure um, um, of the 50-day moving average here. I mean we were just we we're struggling here, and then it reporting reported earnings last night and reported well. So Roku moving up strongly this morning. I don't know that I would chase that morning pop, 
But what I would do is watch and wait for any rest consolidation or pullback to uh, maybe enter that trade. So keep, uh, keep an eye on uh, that chart. Another chart that you might um, want to look at is KSS. Kohl's doing what we call a rounded bottom breakout. And although it got caught up in this ugly sell-off right here, it's still holding that 50-day moving average. And what's nice here is notice that that 50-day moving average has begun to flatten out and start to turn. So all of our shorter term averages up here um, are in this area to provide that support as well. So let's see if Kohl's can maybe start moving up out of here and making some sense of, of this market. We'll see, but holding up uh, pretty well overall yesterday. Now, there are lots of other charts that just kept showing up with possible strength yesterday. One of those being Microsoft. Microsoft rebounding back pretty strongly. Remember, Microsoft reported good, strong earnings and guided forward in the coming quarters, and it got caught up in this sell-off, um, and yesterday it rebounded back nicely. So you might want to keep an eye on, um, on Microsoft here. It does have an opportunity potentially to uh, move on up. Really nice looking chart. Um, I like its uh, the prospects here of Microsoft that it can um, follow on through to the upside, holding this longer term trend in the chart. So keep an eye on that. May be an opportunity for you if uh, you're looking for a little tech play um, overall. Take a look at McDonald's. McDonald's came back strongly the last couple of days, looking really, really good, pushing up here nicely. Now, obviously, we do have to worry about, you know, this resistance level up here, but any rest consolidation pullback that makes a higher low could be a really good opportunity to pick up some McDonald's and um, watch that chart go higher. Take a look at uh, CME. CME doing very, very well the last couple of days, holding up and breaking out, um, showing some strength. So any little rest consolidation or pullback could really set up a great opportunity in this trade. I don't think I would want to chase it being up uh, this far, but a little, little rest and uh, CME could really start coming up and looking very, very good. So keep an eye on that. And last but not least is some of the uh, companies that um, um, are consumer defensive type com companies. Take a look at uh, Tyson, TSN. TSN made this beautiful breakout here this week and holding up very, very strongly after such a nice consolidating move across here, uh, breaking through this resistance right here, very substantial. And uh, this uh, Tyson looks like it may be setting itself up for more upside. So keep an eye on Tyson and then Hershey. Hershey, another one of those defensive companies in this nice little pullback um, and showing bullish signs here for an upside move. So lots of good charts out there, lots of things that maybe pay attention to um, if you're looking uh, for those. Now, as we start to rally back up, and test some of these resistance levels around the 50 day moving average, I'll probably be showing you opportunities for some short trades, but we need that rally back before we start thinking about shorting and that little relief rally that runs us into resistance levels. So we'll keep an eye out for those. And, and I know some of you are probably wondering why in the world is he just showing bullish charts right now in this ugly market? Why isn't he looking at bearish charts? One of the things you don't want to do in, in any market is you don't want to chase a bullish stock up and you certainly don't want to chase a bearish stock down. If you chase that bearish stock down, um, because of the volatility in, in down markets, you chase that bearish stock down and we end up catching these surprise rallies or these big moves back up um, in that relief. And it traps a lot of folks in there that a lot of painful losses can happen. So you don't want to chase those moves. You want to wait for that failure to occur. So we rally back to resistance and then we look for that failure to occur to get short. And that way our stop loss can be very, very close to that trade and um, see if that carries back down. So right now, that's what we want to watch for. Um, as we begin to rally up toward those resistance levels. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. 
I want to thank everyone that does take the time to click that, uh, click those subscribe buttons, the thumbs up buttons, and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. You're, uh, you mean the world to me. I truly, truly mean that. Everyone, take care of yourselves. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one, everyone.